Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over the Bitcoin wallet sizes charts and how you can use these tools to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. These charts, as well as many others, are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what are the Bitcoin wallet sizes charts? Well, simply put, it is looking at the total amount of wallets on the Bitcoin network that contain a given amount of BTC. So in this case, we're looking at how many wallets there are on the Bitcoin network that hold at least one Bitcoin within them. So if you weren't already aware, Bitcoin is utilizing what is known as a blockchain network, which acts almost as an open ledger, which basically just allows anyone to see all transactions on the network, all wallets on the network, how much Bitcoin they're currently holding, etc. And using this data, as we said, we can group these wallets into their holdings and see the actual network growth or decline in wallets holding a given amount of Bitcoin. So if we just isolate over the past couple cycles, we can see the relation between wallet sizes and price a little clearer. There tends to be a bit of a correlation between Bitcoin price and the wallet sizes, such as here in 2017, we saw the Bitcoin price peak just as the Bitcoin wallets owning at least one BTC peaked and then as price bottomed this also bottomed as well but that's not always the case if we were to just look at the most recent cycle Bitcoin wallets holding at least one BTC was actually starting to decline long before Bitcoin reached its all-time high and again it started to increase a little bit before price had actually bottomed and didn't actually peak once we regained that all-time high and now Bitcoin wallets contain at least one BTC has gone absolutely parabolic and we're seeing by far the highest amount of wallets holding this amount of Bitcoin we've ever seen. Which again is somewhat odd as usually and historically this hasn't been the case. Usually Bitcoin's price is somewhat indicative of the wallet sizes. But it seems in this circumstance a lot of people are trying to accumulate as much as they can potentially as bitcoin is at a bit of a discount on looking to bitcoin we actually have four of these charts so in this example we looked at bitcoin wallets holding at least one btc but we also have charts for 10 100 and a thousand bitcoin all unique in their own right and can give us a bit of an insight into the difference between what retail are doing and the day-to-day -day investor who might only have one or a handful of bitcoins and what big whales or potentially even institutions are doing with their bitcoin so for example this bitcoin wallet's holding at least a thousand btc for a vast majority of people having a bitcoin wallet that contained at least a thousand btc is just probably not very achievable. However, if you've been in Bitcoin for an incredibly long period of time, potentially for over a decade when Bitcoin was substantially cheaper, you may have been able to pick up a large amount of BTC, or if you have a lot of capital at your disposal, potentially you have picked up a thousand BTC a little bit more recently. But again, if we just isolate this over the most recent couple cycles, it is interesting to see that as price was peaking near its all time high, the amount of Bitcoin wallets holding at least a thousand BTC increased substantially, which is not usually what you'd expect. You might think that there'd be a bit of an inverse correlation between these huge wallets that potentially want to accumulate on a discount and start to offload their Bitcoin as price is peaking. But in this most recent instance, that wasn't the case. It was somewhat the case in the previous cycle in 2017, 2018. And we are once again now seeing the Bitcoin wallet sizes holding at least a thousand Bitcoin decrease, but potentially coming to an end so just to summarize, a Bitcoin wallet allows someone to send and receive Bitcoin. And by monitoring all of these Bitcoin wallets on the network, we can see each of these wallet holdings. So using this information on each wallet holdings, we can group these into different wallet sizes that we can then chart on looking to Bitcoin. And what we can see is as these wallet sizes increase or decrease to their relative holdings, it can give us insights on not only retail interest, but also whales big players in the space or even institutional activity on the Bitcoin network. There is often a strong correlation with Bitcoin price and wallet sizes increasing or decreasing as users decide whether to accumulate or take profit on their BTC. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com. We believe that everyone should have access to high quality Bitcoin data. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other chats and gain even more insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.